What's up, guys? I'm back. It's Central Rock Gym Cambridge. And I'm here with the famous Troy. How's it going, guys? <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be talking about how to break through your climbing plateau. So first thing is you kind of have to identify when you're in a plateau. So plateau is kind of self-explanatory. When you start climbing, when you first start climbing, you're going to learn how your body moves on the wall. You're going to get a lot stronger. You're going to progress pretty fast. You're going to move through V1, V2, V3. And eventually you're going to hit a point where you kind of feel like your progression is stopped. Uh, exactly, you know, like a plateau. So plateaus can happen. It's going to happen to everyone. You know, no one goes from V0 to V16 without blinking an eye. There's going to be a point where that progression stops. It can happen at any grade level and it can happen for different amounts of time. You know, you might be stuck on a plateau for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years. Uh, so it's something that's going to happen and it's important to know kind of how to get through it as quickly as possible. All right, so what is the first tip? So when you're trying to break through a plateau, it's important to have a good grasp on what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. If you're someone who relies a lot on their upper body or someone who relies a lot on their lower body, if you like pinches, crimps, different kinds of holds, identifying you know what's your favorite wall to climb on, what walls you tend to do best on, what hold sets kind of fit you, having a good knowledge of, like I was saying, what you're good at and what you're bad at, because your weaknesses are going to help you know what you need to train and kind of what needs to be brought up to speed. And your strengths are gonna help you when you're picking a project that's gonna try and break that plateau. So for example, if you've been stuck on V4s for you know the last six months, you feel like you can do almost all the fours in the gym pretty easily, but you just can't break into the fives, knowing what styles you prefer and which of the fives might be a little bit easier for you or fit your style a little bit better, those are the ones that we're gonna wanna target because when we're breaking into, when we're pushing our boundaries, more often than not, you're going to break into that next level in a style that fits you the best. It's not going to be one of your weaknesses. All right, so what's the next point? Right, so depending on your experience level, looking into hangboarding, campusing, or either the moon board or the tension board can be very helpful to break through a plateau. Hangboarding is gonna help you really isolate your finger strain. Campusing uh, is gonna do a lot for your upper body. The moon board and the tension board kind of provide like a hybrid workout. I sort of like to see it in between, uh, you'll get the finger strength and the upper body strength uh, from the hangboarding and campusing. And you're also gonna really have to train how to keep your feet on some steep walls uh, and really engage your core. I would recommend those only for climbers who are a little bit more experienced. Uh, if you've been climbing a year or more or a year and a half or more, uh, you can start looking into some beginner workouts in these fields. Uh, but if you are a newer climber still and you feel like you've plateaued, really the best training for climbing is always climbing at any level. But these are some exercises to look into if you kind of hit a plateau at some of the upper uh, tier grades. All right, so what is point number three? So if you feel like your kind of overall fitness or your endurance is what's holding you back, maybe you can do half the moves on the fives that you're looking to push into, but you just get tired near the top every time or linking all the moves is very challenging for you. A uh, great exercise to do to, or that's gonna build your bouldering endurance, your power endurance, uh, something called four by fours. So you can do them a couple of different ways. So you'll basically pick four climbs. These should be climbs that you're fairly comfortable on. Uh, you're gonna be repeating these climbs multiple times. The idea is that you're gonna do four sets each set you will do either, so if you pick climbs A, B, C, and D, uh, one set will either be A, B, C, then D, uh, or some people like to do it A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 however you prefer. But basically your goal will be to do all four of the climbs in four minutes, very little rest. You come down, chalk up, 
get right back on. And then when you've completed those four climbs, you're gonna take a four minute break and then you're gonna repeat it. And you're gonna do that four times. So it's a four by four. So the goal is that we're trying to pick routes uh, that are a little bit more, uh, depending on what you need to work on, either strength-based or technique-based. Uh, but these should be climbs that are pushing you really on the third and the fourth try. If you're falling on the third and the fourth go of the set, that's totally fine. You're right in the sweet spot. They shouldn't be too easy where you can just run laps on them all day. And they shouldn't be too hard where you're only making a couple of moves and not getting the full value of the climb because the goal is power endurance at the end of the day. If you're only doing two moves, you're not really getting very much endurance. So when you're trying to break through a plateau, it's super important to come in and set aside project days in the gym where your only goal is to push the boundary into that next level. I think a lot of people, their problem may be you know, if you feel really comfortable on threes and fours, you're gonna climb around, sort of burn yourself out on the threes and the fours. And by the time you try the harder climbs, the climbs that you've never done before at the end of the session, you're already too tired, you're already too worn down. Uh, and this is something that is gonna require your peak performance level to complete. So you really need to set aside days where you pick maybe three climbs max and between one and three climbs. This is where knowing your strengths is gonna come into play. Uh, Cause like I was saying earlier, if we're trying to break into the next level, we're gonna be searching for stuff that's gonna suit us. So pick a couple of projects in the gym, come in, do your warm up as you would normally, but the bulk kind of main chunk of your session is just going to be trying those couple of climbs. And if you come in here and you only do one new move, you have to see that as progress. So it's the little things that build up. Uh, and eventually, you know, the more you try the, this level, this grade level, the more you'll get familiar with it. And eventually one of them will go down. So I know a lot of climbers may not want to hear it, uh, but a great way to break through your plateau is to get into the fitness gym. Uh, and start to really round yourself out as not only a climber, but as an athlete. If your weakness is upper body, if you're someone who really relies on uh, their lower body on less steep walls, just being able to do a couple of pull-ups is not only gonna give you some added strength, but a lot of added confidence for those steeper walls. Uh, and vice versa, if you're someone who relies way too much on their upper body, your feet are always cutting, uh, and you're always, you always feel like you're just doing a bunch of pull-ups to get through the wall, uh, getting in here and working on your core and being able to keep your feet on the wall uh, and do everything precise and with tension uh, is going to go a long way. All right, Troy, thanks so much for helping me out, man. No problem. And thanks for helping us break through our plateaus. We'll yeah, catch you later. Luck, guys. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Don't, Don't forget, forget to like and subscribe. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep. See ya. See ya. All right. Three, two.